Here we will demonstrate the blood group identification of a patient. In blood group identification, at first the patient's finger is cleaned with ethyl alcohol properly. After that, the patient's finger is pricked with lancet. We need to remove the first drop of blood with cotton and take the sample from the second drop of blood. We shall also sterilize the glass slides in order to avoid any sort of contamination. After that, like this, we will add two drops of blood on the first glass slide on both the sides of the glass slide. After that, we will add one drop of blood in the center of second glass slide. Then, we have three antiserum here. We have antiserum A sample, antiserum B sample and antiserum D sample. At first, we will add the antiserum A and antiserum B on the blood sample that has been taken on both the sides of the first slide. Like this. After that, we will take the sample of antiserum D and add it on the blood sample that we have collected on the second glass slide. Then we will take another glass slide and use three different vertex for mixing three different blood sample of ours. This procedure is done so as to avoid any sort of contamination of one blood sample with another. We need to keep in mind that we should never contaminate the samples and wait for some time before checking the actual results. After mixing the blood samples properly, we will wait for some time and see the results. As for our patient's blood, we will see that there were three blood samples and there is no blood clotting in antiserum A and antiserum B sample, which means that the blood sample was O blood group. After that, we will transfer the glass slides on a white clear sheet so as to see the results more clearly and vividly. We will see that as per our patient's blood, there was only clot seen in the antiserum D, which means that the blood sample is O positive. Thus by this procedure, we can identify the blood group of a patient.